How you doing, good people? This is the 8-Bit Animal. Okay, so today's game is an arcade port. Um, it's one of my it's one of my guilty pleasures. Um, the arcade title is definitely one of my guilty pleasures, and as a result, I picked up the Genesis port of this game a few years back. And let's just say the Genesis version doesn't really doesn't really measure up to the arcade port of this game. Um, it's from, I want to pronounce this right, Kaneko, and um, it's a beat-em-up. Today's game, you know, DJ Boy. Now, DJ Boy, the... The differences start with the story behind the game. The arcade port, uh, the arcade version of DJ Boy, features two guys that are just hanging out, break dancing, having a good time, and a street gang comes along and steals their boombox. So they go on a rip roaring rampage of blood, guts, and revenge to get their boombox back. The Genesis version of this game, the Genesis port. Actually, um, it, the story's weird. <laughs> I'd be even weirder than two guys that fight their way across the city to get their boombox back. Um, the Jenny port of this game actually features a character, a guy who is um, joining up. He's a newcomer to a roller fight league. Which justifies this game being a beat em up where most of the characters are on roller skates. Um, and in all seriousness, uh, it's kind of a weird premise for a video game, even during the 16 bit console gen. Now, the arcade ver port of the game, you the arcade version, you would you were simply fighting your way from level to level. In the Genesis port, um, in addition to fighting enemies and defeating them, you also collect coins which you use at the end of each level to buy items. Um, that was something definitely added to the Genesis port of this game. Also, there were some, uh, there was a little bit of censorship done to the US releases of this game. Because the Japanese, some, some members of the Japanese gaming community, they tend to um, not be really good when it comes to race relations. And as a result, they tend to... They tend to uh, characterize non, non-Asian or non-white video game characters in a very unflattering light. And there were some characters in this game that had they not been edited and changed, there would have definitely been a problem. Now, that's neither here nor there because those like I said those characters were changed I'm not gonna make a big deal about it if you want to look for the YouTube footage of the Japanese port of the Japanese versions of this game you can feel free to do so um but all that aside the Genesis port of DJ boy just isn't a very good game compared to its arcade counterpart and that's where the big problem arises. Um, it just doesn't feel right. It feels like this was forced. And, you know, back in those they, days, cartridges were costing about $60 at a, as a starting point. Some 16-bit some games got up to around 100 bucks a game. And so no kid wanted to pay that much, wanted to have their parents pay that much for a game, and it just not feel good. And that was the problem with DJ Boy. So 
honestly, if you can opt out of getting the Genesis port and just skip over to the arcade version of this game, I definitely recommend that because the home port, not very good. This has been 8-Bit Animal. I will catch you beautiful people tomorrow.